Hello, and welcome to Rick's Kits. First of all, I'd like to thank my subscribers, especially the new subscribers that have come on board. Thank you very much for appreciating my work. But yeah, thank you very much to all you new mem new subscribers, say new members. So here we are again, Heavenly Hearth by Johan. On 25th surf party machine doing it the um, custom version so I'll show you what I've got so far here's all my stuff so I can deal with the uh, vinyl roof on the back we're going to go the normal route and use black I was going to put white on but I don't know Black's probably more fit. I think it looks nicer with the orange than the white. So yeah, that's what we're doing with that one. So she's getting ready to go into paint. I will be using a rattle can. Started it with the interior. I've used a Tamiya. I can't remember what it was. I think it's XF18 Insignia Blue. It's like a blue grey. Uh, we've got that on the main inside. We've also got it on obviously the front seat and also the dashboard. It's painted. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I think it's going to be two tone blue. So there'll be a lighter blue, I think, complementing, complementing that. The other thing I have started is the engine now this is the basic kit engine um but we've got this piece which i've recently just found out after looking on the internet it's a latham latham blower i think is what it's called so hopefully i'm gonna get this attached uh, it does come in the kit, it's part of the kit and all of this attached on here uh, I'm not sure whether I'll re-chrome that or put it in like a steel colour and then hopefully I'm able to get it into the chassis which is here and it is painted that. Got to do some pipe work underneath. That's about all I'll do on that one, I think. Um, all the wheels are together. There's nothing here because it's all put on the on the chassis, so they're together. Uh, I've dechromed front and rear bumpers. I'll be giving those a coat of um, the Molotov, Molotov getting right the way around. Molotov liquid chrome. I'll, I'll probably have a couple of coats of that because I seem to mess the chrome up slightly. Um, then I've got to deal with the bonnet because I'm not a hundred percent sure if this Latham blower comes out through the hood slightly or not I don't know so that one's going to be totally new for me uh, apart from that I think that's the majority of the kit already obviously the you've got the trimmings and stuff to go on after that after that but yeah and I've done what I need to do I'll come back and I'll show you the results see you soon okay here we are we're back again with the progress of what I've done so far um, a little bit disappointed in myself with what's happened to the paint job on the body uh, it's I would say it's a learning curve, but I should have had this learning curve a long time ago with my 
my other kit, I'll show you the um, mistake that I have made and um, I'm not pretty pleased about to be honest with you and I really don't want to strip all this back down and go back to square one so I will progress further on with and complete the vehicle in the state it's in so as you can see we've um, we've done the black on the top and there's nice shiny chrome and that all around um, using that, um, adi that adhesive chrome stuff the, the name of it bare metal foil Okay, I can tell I'm getting old, memory's going. Um, I would say most of the paint job looks pretty good until you look at the front end. So, this is where it's all gone wrong for me. As you can see, I've got three different tones of colour. It's not only just here on the other side as well looks even worse but you can see it better on that side so why did that occur for me well simple reason right at the start in the other video i had an issue with this uh, the paint wouldn't hold on there very well and it all came off so i had to redo this I thought, oh, what's the best way to redo this? I know, I'll put it back on the car, tape off the area of the car that, um, so I don't get it all over the windows and everything that I've put in there. Big, that was the big mistake, wasn't it? Because this is, is a nice, you know, it's a nice uniform colour. Go, you know, goes goes well with the rest of the front of the car, and then obviously when you get to the side, you know, like, mm, the rest of the car now doesn't go with the with the hood. So I will continue on as it is. So that's the body and the bonnet. It's a shame. It happens. Uh, I didn't concentrate well enough and think about that one. Anyway, um. Rear doors in. Oof, let's get in the camera. It's a bit hard. There we go. Rear doors in. It was an opening door, but every time you put the car down, it, it flew open. So I've decided to glue it in place. Bodywork. Still got um, some trim to go down there I'm not going to do the um, rest of the trim around there I think it looks nice quite flat so I'll leave that as it is but all the monotochromes down all the way around the back apart from across this little bit here I've uh, got that on the front the batteries in we've got the radiator in there we've got the firewall in the front there we've got an issue there with paint um that's that and we've got the front bumper and grill monotoed it actually came out a little bit better this time around than my normal job hey ho it's a big learning game isn't it uh the rear bumper again with the light clusters that's all monotoed. We have now I've changed my mind again on the interior. I went for black with highlights of, of that insignia blue and this is what we've got on the interior tub. A little bit of an error of bleed of paint through here uh, I'll touch that up and that it will clear that out I might even put more of that not more of the bare metal foil across there to have uh, 
I was thinking about maybe putting a mattress or something in the back. Um, there's the front seat, so they're just like a satiny black with a highlight of blue across the top. Uh, dash, you're not going to be able to see very well, I don't think, because the window's going to get in the way. Dashboard's done. Monoto chrome. Then I got the um, Tamiya panel line and went in on the dials just to give it some depth. Not a lot. We got the custom steering wheel in there as opposed to the Cadillac steering wheel. And uh, so that's the interior, which fits quite nicely. And uh, moving on to the engine and the chassis. So we have this, what is it called? Latham blower, that's it. Latham blower. And I've got that in. That doesn't interfere with the hood at all. So that's quite nice. Uh, we've got custom wheels on. They're not glued, not glued to the rims. Um, there you go. So it's the same. It's not glued to the rims. They're just on there for goodness. Um, I did a dry fit with this. Yeah, I haven't painted the exhaust. I did a dry fit with this. Now again, we um. I did a dry fit with this. Can you see it? Chassis warped. Got bow right in the middle there. Didn't notice it until I put it all together. And what happens is there's a link, there's a pin here. I say pin, there's a piece here which is slots in here it doesn't reach it's about a whole centimeter nearly out of place so yeah I, I, I don't know how to correct that one really I'm sure I find a way but that's all the body work and stuff and now on that, I've got the rack, which goes on the top here, that's in uh, bleach, that's getting the, um, all the chrome off, because I want to re-chrome it, and I need to strip them down and re-chrome them, just to make them look a little bit prettier. Uh, I still have the surfboards to paint uh, I'm not sure on the colours of those yet I have to look for funky funky looking surfboard colours I think from back in the 60s we still have the uh, oxygen tanks to do and the curtains to do for the back and the two side windows um, then I think on the chrome tree, the only parts on the chrome tree that I still need is these two pieces which go on the, the trim on the side. Uh, headlights need to go in, and I think I'm sure there was something else. Oops. Um, oh yes, there's two beach lamp things which go down on the side of the vehicle. Um, so I'll get those done and we'll I'll put it all together and we'll see at the end what it looks like even with its even with its issues. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is just about done now. 
uh, I'll show you this as a finished finished product even though I've got a couple of bits to put on the, on it still uh, I'm, I'm basically calling this done uh, a couple of issues within kit with it no, sorry within the build should I say uh, my own issue with the um, paint job and issue basically with the warping um, so let's deal with the issue of let me get it to a point where I can pick it up properly with the paint job so as shown previously um, I tried to do the um, front of the car again stupidly my fault um, so I ended up with big dark patch through here and none of it matched anything else so I went to bed on it slept on it and I thought what can I do I thought oh I know perhaps I can do some like customizing so I ended up doing the front end silver which I think turned out rather sweet um, and we got an orange orange body on the bonnet body hood even but uh, you can see I still I got a little bit of silver paint just down the side there which was pain in the butt um, so we put it all together you can see there's a little bit of overspray just come out of here unfortunately I didn't put the curtains in I looked when I when I put them on and I looked and I thought actually no that looks doesn't look as as good as uh, why I imagined it to be uh, the pieces that still have to go on is this bit of um, silver ornamentation across the side here on both sides but that's drying and I and I wanted to get a video out so we've got two surfboards this one's orange uh, on my camera it looks yellow uh, we got the snorkel gear and a red surfboard I've cut down the rack on the top see this little hole here and the one on the other side here and that's where the rack should fit but it doesn't the rack is actually too wide to fit in each one of these holes so watch out for that in this kit so I've had to I've dropped some paint in there and it needs repainting a bit deeper but I cut it down when you look on the box you'll see the uh, surfboards actually fill the whole rack but they don't they only fill three rungs so I thought I'd cut them off or cut it down rejig it a bit uh, resolve the issue with the um, hang on let me turn this over I got silver on my hand somewhere so I managed to solve the issue just in here where the body wouldn't sit I put super glue in there and then gave it a whoosh with the old zip kicker uh, made that better so to speak uh, all the other little ornamentation things that they show on the um, in the kit like the um, the lights that hang off the side I didn't like those I looked at it I you know I put it up against the kit and no I, I just didn't like it so I've left them off didn't feel that was necessary um the hood fits okay it's got 
put um, the life and blower on the engine uh, let me get the hood off I'll be back in a sec okay so there's the life and blower in the engine bay whether it's for this engine I don't know um, I had to cut the distributor cap down on the front because it wouldn't sit so I would assume it doesn't actually go with this kit but it's part of the kit but I think it looks quite nice with the with the blue for the Cadillac engine we've got firewalls been lightly brushed with silver I've got the battery in there got the water bottle in there yeah I know it's, it's white behind there that's that's called lazy and try and get it thing out why I don't know but this car really still feels tacky I don't know, I'm not quite sure why that feels tacky um, um, I've got another mess up just on either side you can't really see it in the video but definitely a mess up it's got the what do call those? air scoops on the hood um, I've got some chip paint on there which I'm not happy about and for some unknown reason there's a bit of a you see it just there not it's like the plastic's coming away underneath the paint because there's actually nothing on here and it looks I don't know tried rubbing it down but didn't seem to do anything right so let's change camera angle and I'll give you a whiz round on the old turntable Back in a sec. Okay, so there it is. Not admittedly the best of jobs, but that's unfortunate. Um, but thank you for looking. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Um, if you haven't subscribed, then please do. It's free. Uh, leave a comment. If you so wish, leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't like the video. Um, but, you know, happy modelling everyone. It's a good hobby. I enjoy it. It's just unfortunate this time round. Turned out a little bit of a disaster. Um, but I'm happy with what I've managed to out of it in the end once again thanks for watching and happy modeling see you in the next one